tomorrow's first but i'm like key everything uh, i washed my face did a real quick skincare routine so in the mornings i've been keeping it very simple when i say very simple i mean rinsing my face off with water using the laneige moisture uh toner it's like a toner and a little cream in one is my water down here yeah. So let me. Okay, I'm not sure this way, honestly. So I did that and then. Where is the top? It's about to make me upset. And then I applied sunscreen. That's it. That's all in the morning. Um. Yeah. Just really trying to get my skin a break from active, not a break, but trying to separate the amount of times that I put an active ingredient on my face. You know, my face tends to get real dry and the sun's out and I want to protect her and I want to protect her integrity. So, yeah, metal straw. Had no coffee today. No coffee. The coffee I was going to drink. You ever like make a coffee? And have it in the fridge. Be like, okay, I'm just gonna drink tomorrow. And then next day, it's like, Bleh. that's what I have experienced. All right, doogies, mom will be back. I'll see you later. Okay, see you later. So today's gonna be a Starbucks day. Um, plus I ran out of coffee. Um, but anyways, I need to get coffee. So, and I wanted to check out like the shoe selection over at Marshalls. So we all know Marshalls is like one-stop shop, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I have everything you could ever want all in one place. So I'm going to go there. We got groceries delivered this morning and I put those away. I was just feeling so tired this morning. Um, my ring said I slept seven hours and seven minutes, which, you know, I woke up feeling okay. I could have definitely slept longer. I didn't fall asleep till like midnight. I was scrolling. I don't ever stay up that late, but I was scrolling. I found somebody's page I was really into. So if I'm really into you, child, I'm gonna do a deep, deep dive. So I did that deep dive and then wound up like, oh, okay, you're doing, you're doing a lot. Um, and we're gonna edit today and I'm gonna make myself edit. Like, you know, ands, ors. But about it, I'm gonna do that shit. But um, yeah. So I was gonna say something else to you guys, but that's the plans for today. We'll see. We all know how well I stick with plans, so we're gonna see how that works out. See how we can make it do what it do. So, somehow we wound up in Marshalls on dropping things. <laughs> but I'm in the purse section. Are you kidding me? So far I found a couple cute little items. Um, I'm looking in the purses just for like, I don't even know. A 
shoulder bag. This is kind of cute. Let me show y'all. This is a hobo bag. $12.99 if they got it hooked up. I don't know what that's about. It's cute, but I don't need that. Why are you in a purse section? Just in case we find a come up. You know? This is cute. Work bag. Hold on. I got to try this stupid angle. big bags but not that one like maybe if they had a cute shoulder bag this one I don't like the gray it looks gluttony okay city bag goop I look a hot bag we're not gonna be here for much longer though. Don't look what I put back in. I'm listening to music in my ear. This is kind of cute. I ain't gonna hold you. Small. And I don't have a new bag. I'm gonna hold on to it. It is. Quanto Quest, though. You can make it longer, but I probably won't. It doesn't say how much it is. I don't have a name. I don't have a tag. Maybe it'll be free. I don't know. But I got a couple trips coming up, so I want to make sure I have everything. some um, coffee in every other section. Okay. This, this door is stacked up. Four dry bars, y'all need those for real. For real. Yeah, I do need some more sponges. These are silicone. Oh, okay. Let's try this.
I do want this. I want the sponges for sure. Scott, wherever I want. against it because it had bovine that's the horse ain't it yeah but at this point it's like let's just try it out <laughs> expires october so we're good yeah i think that's it uh, just when i feel like medicine What up, y'all? We are back home. I'm about to make me some breakfast. I haven't had any food. It's 1.40. I haven't had nothing but this. Uh, a few cents of coffee, not even all of it. Let me show you what I got real quick from Marshalls. I love a linen shirt. Is this even linen or 100% cotton? What the f is this? I'm just buying stuff. Yes, linen blend. Okay, this is from the brand Tahari. Y'all remember Tahari? Tahari is expensive. So I got this. This you can wear in so many different ways. I have so many trips in Florida coming up. I plan to wear it at least a couple times. Tigger, get you and your nosy out of here. Thank you, Smithiana. Next up, I got another. Is this a linen blend? What is this? made out of i don't even know what it's made out of honey i need you paying attention uh, polyester and spandex oh lord honey that sounds cheap shit. but it looks expensive it looks very expensive it's i could wear it as a cover-up um i probably will wear it as a cover-up because it is quite see-through it has two slits on either side Looks so cute. This little girl is literally playing in the street in her little big wheel cart thing. She was just all over the neighbor's grass. You know, get out the way. Then I got these. These were on sale. These are some pants that I thought would be perfect for work. They actually touch the bottom of my ankles. They like look very nice, but on the front they have like a little tie. So it's like business casual type vibes, especially for being a healthcare provider. That's gonna work out. I also purchased one of the iconic pieces like if you did didn't have this in your home you are so not cool and I was not cool for the longest but this was on sale for eight dollars so I said yes I'm gonna set it up right now oh yes I'm so glad I bought that y'all don't even understand it just added the perfect little pop or that area that area is not clean right now so i'm not gonna show it to you um i showed y'all in the store i got the ethiopian light roast me i'm a light roast coffee girl i will argue light roast coffee down to anybody who wants to hear it strong coffee does not mean it has more caffeine in it, it just means it has f more flavor in it. and i'm gonna stand on that every time coffee don't need to be nasty for you to feel the effect Studies have shown light roast coffee is actually better for you. So get into it. Um, but Ethiopian one, I had the regular, but then I double back one because I 
left it somewhere and two because ethiopia is very well known for their coffee so yeah i would know because i went <laughs> your girl is well traveled then i also got this double caddy okay to hang over my sink here because right now we have like a cute little situation but it's not very functional i'm tired of making it work you know i need new sponges i got two scrub daddies my first time ever using scrub daddies the only reason I bought them was because I now have silicone sponges. If you know anything about silicone, it does not harbor bacteria like regular sponges do. So I'm going to uh, trash those in a minute. Incorporate those. Um, we got a silk, a satin shower cap. Okay, it's supposed to be better on your hair for sure on the inside. What is this? Oh, this is how you make it tighter. Oh, you make it tighter. Okay. At first I thought somebody broke it because it was kind of open, but I really wanted it. Um, so it's got a satin line inside. The outside is this beautiful periwinkle color. It's got like the little bra strap adjustment style so you can tighten it, loosen it if you want to. This was definitely much needed. Every time I go, I look to see what kind of Korean skincare products TJ Maxx, Marshalls, the whole family has. This time I found eight tea water capsule cream i am ran out of my calls rx and i'm trying to use some other stuff that i have but then instead of buying more calls rx i purchased that i love calls rx but costs rx but sometimes i notice my skin is very dry um it's hydrating but it's also drying and i need something i need balance so like i love theirs i love it down but i need something with more moisture to you know because that though that whole line of products i love them but they are exfoliative and they will tell you um anyways we got a wet dry scalp massager i am going to actually use this today i need to wash my hair got some water wipes some baby wipes because I'm running low on the wipes I have and it's always good to wipe with wipes and or water, bidet, whatever. I got some Pilates body socks because sometimes my feet ain't done and baby, I be embarrassed. <laughs> Gripping that stuff with my bare nasty looking feet. I got some collagen. I'm actually going to put this collagen in my coffee, but I got it. I told y'all was never a fan something about it being made from animal products turned me off but it's like it's not like i'm not eating meat anymore there was a point in time when i was trying not to eat meat but um yeah what's the damn difference you know what i'm saying i've been eating meat this whole time so might as well it says it's made from hydrolyzed bovine collagen peptides that makes me kind of sad because bovine is it's a horse right what is bovine? Oh, bovine is cattle. Okay, I thought it was horse. Um, So I guess that makes me feel a little bit better. But everybody drinks bone broth, you know, doing all these things. I haven't been purchasing bone broth here recently. Um, so I'm going to use this. But when I don't, I'm going to try that. It's supposed to be really good for your skin not only the elasticity but i've seen a lot of people's skin actually improve in like texture and quality um my camera's dying so let me hurry up japanesque i used to love this brand i got this powder brush i got this brush it says all over eye but i'm gonna use it for my nose contour i got some magnesium citrate that's the most widely absorbed help with my muscles um, I got this Buff and Blend by Japanesque. These brushes are just elite. And the fact that they sell them at Marshalls, it's like, what? I used to crave those, but couldn't afford them. And then forgot about them, because baby, why? I got a Sleep Mask by CosRx. I love this brand. I love this brand. So we're going to see how that does. And I got these really cute dupes. Looks like the Hermes sandals, but baby, they are not. These are really cute. I never have anything blinged out. Um, and on my sandal game, my sandal game is weak as fuck. So I've been trying to come up with that. So that's everything I got from Marshalls way more than I should have gotten, but we're here now. So I guess I'll see you guys later. In the meantime, I am going to make some banana pancakes with some vegan sausage. 
Let me show you the vegan sausage real quick. This is my favorite vegan sausage. Hillary's. Y'all, this, I don't know what about it. It's, it has grains in it. It tastes like it has grains in it, but it is so good to me. I don't know what it is. It's so good to me. Um, did I show you this? I also got some deodorant by Hey Humans. This is Apple Masha. I have no idea what it smells like. We're in for a treat. Um, yeah, so that's everything I got from Marshalls. We spent $200. Mm -hmm. but I think that's, that's good considering I got clothes, food, coffee, sponges. You know, I got stuff for the house. I got things that were needed. I, I put back things that I was just picking up just to pick up. And I'm very pleased. Oh, I also got these. I didn't show y'all these. Okay, these have Sika salicylic acid and tea tree. This is supposed to be very good for your blemishes. Sika is. I know that because Cosrx sells a lot of products with that in there. Um, yeah. Is this Korean? And it's Korean. I'm telling you, if it's Korean, it's for me. Not playing with you. Korean skincare. I know it's watered down over in these parts, but baby, they do well enough. So yeah, I'm gonna take all this junk upstairs. This coffee is bussing. Bussing, y'all get that. It's very light, it's not too sweet. I'm gonna add this Marshall's stuff to it this him and hers they also had normally it's 15 dollars like you save five dollars going to marshall's i think i'm gonna start buying all my snacks from marshall's and then a lot of the supplements the goalie gummies they had the big ones for the low like 20 dollars. that's how much the small one costs so that in of itself i was just like oh my god i gotta start going to marshall's more often especially the one where i was at where the rich people live at because baby they treat the ones down here like they don't have nothing in stock. They have so much on the shelves. It was honestly a treat. And that's why I was in there for about two hours. I was in there for a long ass time, y'all. This one says it's unflavored. If it fucks up my coffee, I'm about to be madder than a bitch. Let's see. says it's flavorless but you know some things could be flavorless but the texture is still very much present yeah okay let's be for real i just got my whole entire behind handed to me like on a silver platter at that y'all <laughs> I'm tired. I'm very tired. But it's okay. Because it's lunchtime, finally. And you know I'm working when I take off the sweater. Your girl is always cold, always. It's lunchtime. I am about to put my hair up. I was trying to do something cute with it, but the humidity is just not it. And it is not it. So I'm about to put her up. I'm wearing something very chill today. These, did I show y'all? I mean, not like that, but hey. I need it off my neck. My outfit, I got these pants yesterday when we went shopping. Okay, they fit pretty well. They could be a little lower, but I think they're okay. I got these Nike shoes on, they're kind of like transparent. To be honest, they need to be cleaned. <laughs> but yeah and I got this top from my outfit online so you know real cute kind of chill fit these pants the back pockets make them look like more business casual but they're like super comfortable so I just love outfits like these where you just throw it on and keep going so I'm at the back desk right now I don't want to go outside it's raining and it's cold. It's so freaking cold here. Um, is this a probiotic? We got a probiotic. It's expired, but I'm going to take it anyway. It expired in January of 22. Oh, 
is probably dead. It's probably not even worth taking. I have lunch, but to be honest, I just finished eating breakfast. I had a gold, mac gold macro bar. I had the Syzygy, I think that's how you say the name, the Syzygy protein Greek yogurt. There's like 11 grams of protein in that. There's like 11 grams of protein in the gold macro bar. So I'm doing pretty good on protein right now. I have guac that I made yesterday. So I'm just going to eat this guac. Eat this guac up. If I get hungry later, I have my meal. But yeah. I was also eating some blueberries. Y'all, blueberries, they're back in the season. Because every batch I've been getting. I got like two batches recently from two different stores. And they both have like these real fat. Look at that. Fat, juicy blueberries i didn't even think i like blueberries till i got older and my niece she was eating them i'm like if she eat them let me try so i'm just gonna watch youtube and then see what y'all are up to later on today we do have a class pass class say that five times fast i'm like should i go but i have to go because you have to cancel it within 12 hours or you're going to get charged a fee. Somebody told me this and I'm going to pass this info along. Book your classes, your gym reservations, whatever you have to be active. Do that while you're feeling good, while you're feeling like on top of the world. Because when you don't, times like these, it makes it harder for you to renege, you know, to flake out on yourself. I want to flake out because honestly, I have been, I did Pilates back to back, Saturday, Sunday, now I have it again, um, and my muscles are like, they are cussing me out. So we are at work. Today is a different kind of day because it is full of meetings. And with those meetings, I don't know, it's supposed to start at 8.30 and then go until like lunchtime, but it's not seeming to be what's happening this time around. This time around, we have the meeting starting at 9 and ending at 9.30. It's really confusing to me because I think we have much more to talk about. Um, I think leadership has much more to discuss. There are decisions being made. And us at the pharmacy who work here, we're just like, okay, like what is really good? What are you really doing? I did bring my laptop to work because um, I want to make sure everything is queued up for lunchtime. I have some things that I want to get done, some editing that I want to do. And yeah, that needs to happen during my lunch. I need to make the most of my lunch today. Last night, I was like, oh, I'm going to edit, I'm going to do this. Last night, y'all, I was, I was so exhausted. Like, y'all don't even understand how exhausted I was. It, Exhausted. Like that was my third day in a row of Pilates. And y'all might be like, oh my god, like 
It's just Pilates, y'all. Pilates. I don't know what's worse than our weightlifting. Almost like Pilates is worse because my, like, you are really working until fatigue. Like, whatever set you are doing, and past fatigue. You're, you're still, and then depending on your structure, you're going to have to work past fatigue and then hold the pose. Y'all, it's crazy. And then she was like, how are y'all feeling? All you could hear, the whole room was like, oh, oh. we were all donezo. Do you hear me? Donezo. Like, I don't know how you do it. I need to go to Kroger. I buy this Zen water. This brand sent me. The thing is, they didn't put a time limit on it, so I'm not, like, rushing, but I do need to do that. Probably today, maybe place an order for pickup or something. Is in water. Mobile instructions, customers checking out. So check out. Okay, a complete list of orders available. So they also sent me like some merch. So, okay, I'm gonna go get my key out the car and then we're going to start vlogging on that. Just like little clips, nothing, nothing serious. And yeah, so see you guys my Friday. My biggest pet peeve is the like, light. breaking the action of his calm because I'm cold. I'm a cold blooded person, okay? I get cold very easily. I am I don't know what's going on. Busting out content My bestie Alex is coming into town this weekend is gonna be lit 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 so this weekend my best friend alex is coming into town um before she comes though i have a dinner at 7 30 on friday for another one of my really good friends birthdays then i'm hanging out with alex saturday and sunday she said it's some kind of day party situation um so we'll see how it goes you know what i'm saying um the weather should be really nice this weekend so I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I got a vitamin I need to take. I've just been really productive. I've been really doing good. Just feeling good, feeling the vibes, feeling the flow. I've been in contact with folks. I've been just enjoying myself. So, yeah, I posted like on all platforms, including Lemonade. If you have a lemonade or if you don't have one, get one and then follow me, Taylor Demi, on all platforms, baby, except TikTok is underscore at the end. But and then the Taylor Demi that's on there, like that person is not even active, so it's like, what a waste. I'm not sure if this is a continuation of the last vlog or if it's a new vlog, but whatever it is, honey, roll with me. So, we're at work, I look like a matador. Um, I got on these big white shoes and I'm giving you temptations today. I'm giving you, pass me the mic. I'm giving you, it was a Thursday. <laughs> but in all seriousness, yeah. So we have some, not that one of my technician's husbands made for us. Like, how sweet, how kind. It's big chunks of feta, it's avocado, it's tomato. Um, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. And then I have to add some protein to the meal. I have some, um, what do I have? Yogurt. And bacon. It's bacon. It's a BLT feta pasta salad. So yesterday he was so nice. He made us um, like egg sandwiches. It was like egg, cheese, lettuce, 
on toast. He just, <laughs> I don't know where he gets this niceness from, but listen, I am okay with it. Make sure I clean off what I potentially messed up. So today I want to eat in my core. It's, what time is it? 12.35. Eat in my core. No other plans outside of that. Oops. There we go. It's kind of cold today. It's like in the 50s. Which is too cold for me to be fooling around with anything. Okay. I didn't... I bought these chips for no reason. I was supposed to bring... Whatever. It's cool. Y'all, I've been having low-key a hard day. It's been a hard day for me. I'm just... I've been kind of like... Impatient, irritable. I felt it when I woke up. <sighs> But it's like, I feel like every other week is some kind of PMS symptoms. Every other week, that's too much. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. You guys, my husband has to have surgery on uh, his shoulder. And so with that, we're just trying to figure out logistics. I'm trying to sign up for FMLA to make sure I could be there to take him to his appointments, to take him to whatever recovery he needs, y'all. You know, a little much. Like to be a young person and being told like, oh, you actually can't just shake, bake, and move is is hard. Which I'm sure somebody out there understands, especially when you want to shake, bake, and move. Hold on. Y'all ate. I had that pasta salad. It was very good. Um, I have my protein yogurt, but I think it's called Syzygy or whatever. I highly recommend it. It's like got less sugar and a good amount of protein. I think like 15 grams of protein. Um, then I had like a little fruit strip. Why am I telling you what I'm eating? I don't know, but I'm telling you. Why is my phone still going off after I cut it off? That is crazy. Okay. Did that and now we are walking. Um, it's not warm enough for me not to wear my little coat, so I'm definitely wearing my coat as we walk. But the sun is out, and even though I took a uh, vitamin D multi vitamin, I got more vitamin D by walking outside. Ain't nothing like getting it from the source, you know, ain't nothing like it. So we're just gonna go on a little 10 minute walk. What time is it right now? Yeah, I have literally two minutes until it's time to go back. So I'm just gonna do this little loop. Nothing crazy, but enough to get my steps up. I've been thinking after work, cause I didn't do my Pilates yesterday, that today I might wanna do it. And I think we gonna do that. The dash is bridgy, the schedule is busy My head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie Life is amazing, it is what it should be Been here for 10, but I feel like a rookie I tell her look up, cause it's snowing in Tootsie But for three years, man, you can't even book me It's me and Lil Baby, the shit going crazy Weezy produced it, and Weezy have made me And she held it down, so she got a Mercedes Your money records, the army, the navy It ran me 10,000, I threw it like Brady Born is yellow, like Tracy and Katie I trusted my niggas, they never betray me Met all these niggas, they sweeter than Sadie When I started out, I just took what they gave me Did all the favors, they never repay me Worked in my favor, cause nobody said Tell them I don't know stuff, please Tell them I never go Got M's in the bank like this and me Cardiac glasses, I won't even Pikachu Yellow Ferrari like Pikachu I got him waiting and watching what he gon' do Tryna be what I do, tryna steal my move 25 for a new kind of t-shirt The same price I can make them never come and finish you Don't you get in charge, get through Frozen food from Trader Joe's Cause I'm a boring basic hoe PMS symptoms <laughs> Breast tender Move fucked up But you know what else? I forgot 
a lot of things make sense. Again, if I'm a woo woo chick, sorry, I just had to move y'all because the lighting was so bad. I'm a woo woo girl, so you're going to hear some woo woo stuff come out of my mouth. We are currently experiencing a lunar eclipse tomorrow. So the energy that surrounds that is what is causing everybody to be very emotional. There are a lot of emotions. Um, I'm being emotional for more reasons than a few, but uh, I've noticed people around me are feeling emotional, um, really taking things into perspective, really looking at what's going on. And what I was told was that an eclipse is essentially that of a full moon like 20 fold so the energy that you feel around a full moon a full moon a full moon is very much intensified and because this eclipse is happening in the sign of scorpio my sun sign which is a very emotional very sensual very like a scorpio's deep water okay because of the depth of the water you're going to be experiencing uh just a plethora of emotions and so with that you know just be kind don't take things too personally apologize if you are wrong be aware of what you're doing and who it's affecting um today it was a pretty decent day for a second. I wasn't feeling it. This morning, it just felt like everything was going wrong. And I don't really know what the trigger was, but I just was not feeling it. And then I said, girl, you could feel your feels, but don't have them out here affecting everybody else. That's the main thing I've learned as I got older is that because you are feeling something doesn't mean it needs to leach onto other people. You know, keep that to yourself. Come here, Teddy. So, I've been trying to do that. Um, oh, let me change my shoes to these. Hold on, y'all. Let me change my shoes because I got these, these. And it's like, girl, no. I'm about to put on some space hips. But, yeah. So, y'all, that is what's been... On my mind, I just watched a TikTok about it and everything makes so much sense. Today, I just had a lot of kumbaya moments with um, some family members. And it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Okay, what I wanted to say was don't focus. What, is, what was, did I want to say? I don't forgot. Oh, yeah. Don't focus on trying to manifest trying to implement too much because the energy is very strong but also very um, unpredictable and you don't know if something's going to backfire. This is what a YouTuber was telling me. Her name is Hey Alina something or something like that. That's what she was saying. Telling me like, yeah, she made the channel just for me or something. But come on, Titty. Gotta go potty, poppy. So, just some things to keep in mind. By the time you guys see this, I'm not sure if the effects are still going to be in the air or not. But, yeah. Okay, y'all, come on. Okay, come on. This Tigger will sniff something to death. I'll be calling, good job. I'll be calling him Scooby-Doo. All that so he can pee, but it's like... I feel so good. I'm about to start mowing along. It's 7.59. I'm a mow until the sun go down. And then I'm going to lay down. So, I don't know what got into me. But here I go. Lord. Turn on the light. I got to take off my shoes. This was probably the dumbest idea ever. Mowing along in these space hippies. These are some nice space hippies. But I'll just wash them. But I just had to get it done. I had to. I couldn't think about it no more. I didn't want to look at it no more. Like, you ever just get like that? Like, whatever's going on, I gotta, 
I just gotta get it done. Especially because like my dogs don't want to use the restroom. The grass is ridiculous. And by no means does it look good now that I'm done with it. But they can at least walk without worrying about like what might be lurking in the dog on grass, you know? Hey guys, these, ooh, now you can see me, huh? And on my sweat and glory in my sweaty. Yes. I'll be changing. <laughs> I'll be freshening up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, blueberries. You could tell that they are in season. Look how big these blueberries are, y'all. Big. All the blueberries I've been getting been like little rinky ding johns. Blueberries like they kind of go bad easy, so you got to make sure to pay attention to see what is not good for you to be eating. Because y'all ain't nothing worse than biting into something mushy and nasty. Nothing worse. One just fell. He ate it, so. Almost. He normally does really good. I think we're just too close. Okay, stay right there. Steady. <laughs> oh, you're trying to get to it. All right, Tig. Hey, figgy, figgy, what it did. Can you see what's really happening? This is a doggy Olympics right here. All right. Fix. Woo! Oh, it, it, <laughs> it fell on me. Teddy? Oh, he's so cute. Teddy, like, listen, I ain't doing all of that. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> like, barely trying. Oh, God. Damn, I only got a minute left. I talk a lot. Well, that was it for today, folks. So. We're gonna add our blueberries as I eat the small ones. I'm gonna feed to them because would I be a good dog mom if not? Those are nasty, guys. You can't eat those. All right. Then I like to add the strawberry ones are honestly my favorite. Oh, I don't know why I put a little bit of both. In this. So I have these strawberry ones are milk chocolate, and I have these raspberry ones are dark chocolate, and they are. Magnifique. Like y'all don't know what y'all missing. I'm telling you. You girl is tapped out to the loo. You know, young rich niggas. You know, so we ain't really never had no old money. We got a whole lot of new money though. <laughs> Drop top, smoking on cook in the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. Hello, what's happening? What's up? Just got my hair did. Y'all just got my hair done. Y'all don't understand how excited I am. Look at it from the back. Look how long it is. So long. I gotta make sure, like, y'all is not trying to curl in the back. And that's kind of pissing me off. You know what I'm saying? Don't be pissing me off now. Just got the hair. Don't piss me off with it. So, I just got my hair done. Getting ready for a gala. So, we're going to do a get ready with me. Um, I think I'm going to record on my phone as well. I got my laptop. Set the vibe, set the tone. And this is like going to be our little setup. So, yeah. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys. While I get everything, I'll tell you what's happening. I haven't talked to you guys in some time, but you know that's me. Pop in, pop out when I feel. But I'm always going to give you that content. Make sure you are subscribed so you could at least see my shorts because I am a little more consistent. I'm very much more consistent with that kind of stuff. Oh, my charger. So, what's up is today, one of our very good friends, his name is Nick. He is a cancer survivor, okay? And because of how much different organizations has has helped him in the past he is taking it a step to help others and to raise money for those organizations that have raised money for him that have assisted him so he is 
like speaking, organizing this gate. It's almost like a, it's a fundraising dinner. There's like a little happy hour first and then there's like dinner. So, chill, I grabbed the wrong thing. So the happy hour is from like six to seven and then the actual shebang is from like seven to um this is kind of making me upset i can't find, there it is seven to like nine or something like that so we are going it's like a really dressy event they're like black tie is optional but it's like who is not gonna you know what I'm saying? Like, what else would I wear? Cocktail attire? And everybody else has on, like, long dresses and tuxes or suits? No, ma'am. No, ma'am, no, Pam. So, I'm setting everything up so that I can get content with you guys. So I can actually talk to y'all. And then so I can get it with my phone. I think I need a mirror. A couple mirrors, okay? This one. I'm just so hyped. I haven't dressed up for something in a long time. It just feels good to like get together with my friends because it's going to be more than just me. Get together with my friends to support Nick in this way. What happened to it? Oh, I know where it is. Hey, y'all. It's hot up here. I got a whole setup, sitting on the toilet, I'll show you, a mirror, on top of my computer so I can play music, that, that's not doing anything, but um, yeah, that's essentially what we have going on, I just did skin prep using, I'll show you the products, I, I like, okay, Lauren Hill, hush, please. Okay, Laneige toner. Then I went in with the snail music. Then I went in with the Sephora moisturizer. Then I went with the Merit Skin. So, letting it kind of sit for a second. I'm gonna eat some more. Ah, I'm making a mess. Gonna eat some more of my sandwich and then keep going. Jimmy Dean. It's a hungry, hungry girl. Okay, so my makeup is at my dad's house. I am heated, y'all. Improvise, I guess. Sucks, but okay. Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, and a little bit, a little bit. Forever, forever, forever. Happy, my baby. Ooh. This is MAC in the shade 7.5. Don't have a bronzer, so this will be it. Like my summer shade. This is creating a wing with a bronzer. I would never use this. This is darker. I think. Yeah, so this is darker. 
to drink. Dang, what am I gonna use for liquid blush? Jesus Christ. Products, I'm using liquid uh, lipstick right now. never done this before I have no clue how it feels how it's gonna be it feels heavy heavy I'm gonna use this to blend it out it's pretty all right come on B team products come through time to let it dry running it into the blush looking seamless Oh my gosh. Under my lip. And this. Blend, 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 blend. running into each other and that is what I love. I'm gonna use this Sephora Best Skin Ever. Looks just as dark as everything else. Okay, not as dark, no. In the spots I didn't get any product. Where's my buff brush? Oh, it's oxidizing. God, it looks the same color everything else. Any harsh edges, parts of cheeks. Brush up, brush away. I don't want too, too much product on my forehead because it creases. Going back in with the blush brush because I feel like some of that blush got a little lost. Alright, so far, so good. Thank God I have these lash extensions. These are pretty long and dramatic, but that's okay. Um, powder to set. <laughs> The powder that I love, you guys, not here. Actually, this is the only powder I have, so we're gonna have to set everything with this. All right. Yes, this powder puff looks a mess. I cannot worry about it. Absolutely not. Out of your mind. I'm brighten it back up with this. Um, same blush brush because I don't have another brush. I'm letting it run right into the concealer. Contouring it up. Breaking my heart. My heart. Really dark bronzer. I'm gonna try to do my eyebrows with it. Bobby Brown. This is actually my eyeshadow. I'm breaking my heart. Just a little bit. I'm breaking my heart. bake with this oh my god thank god oh and i even put some of my so i have like pink powder i even put some of that in there from last time thank god i'm gonna bake just a little bit because it's hot i'm also gonna add some of this because i need some more like dimension just to like the very apples Get some shimmer some more pink Pixie. This sprayer though is trash. I broke it. What time is it? 4.55? Oh shit! Oh, this is fucking ruining it. I'm almost done anyway, but still. No. Doing a 
lashes with hair glue. The hair store did not have the right glue. I wish that I could take a journey through your life and find your ocean that you always. That's beautiful. Hello. Exactly right, Judy. Nick's journey with cancer began in 2013 when doctors found his heart dangerously enlarged during a CT scan for possible kidney stones. After a long row of inconclusive tests and biopsies, he was finally diagnosed with LGG4 related disease and organic heart disease. In 2020, Nick's cancer returned. He was diagnosed with stage 3 to 4 nodal marginal zone lymphoma. He beat that diagnosis, but was later diagnosed with stage 4 diffuse large B-cell lymphoma with liver metastasis. Nick began chemotherapy in December 2022 and is set to finish treatment in May of 2023. Yeah. Nick has certainly remained passionate about helping others. He's been actively involved with LLS fundraising initiatives, including the Big Climb and Visionaries of the Year, and has become a young adult committee member in the Ohio River Valley region for LLS. And Nick has also recently joined the LLS staff, which is great news. He's been involved in the Year here in Cincinnati. His inspiring story and the way dedication to helping others touched countless lives and continues to of course, inspire all those around you. Now, as of this man, he has officially joined LLS staff and the campaign development manager of Visionaries for the year. And here in Cincinnati, we're glad to have him as part of that. And very excited to have you as an honorary candidate. And now on the LLS staff, Nick, let's hear from yeah! Thank you, my dear friends and family members who are all in attendance tonight and who continue to support me in all aspects of life and business. A special thank you to my mother and father, Gail and Gary, my mother. Thank you. And my amazing wife and partner in all things, Shelby Money. You have to be saying. You guys keep standing. <laughs> I want to say thank you all uh, for all that you've done for me over the past decade to ensure that I can stand here at this beautiful event with you guys tonight. 
And thank you for all that you continue to do to support me in my current fight with cancer. I love you all so much, and I wouldn't be here without your unwavering compassion, empathy, and love. So thank you. So I'm here this evening to share a snapshot of my story and my personal mission connection to the LLS. As Chris mentioned, I'm a dedicated husband, father of three boys, a business owner, and a transformer to life coach. I'm also a two-time survivor and thriver of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. I deeply understand that life is short, unfair, unpredictable. And that's why exactly, I, or which is why I'm fanatical about maximizing mine and others' time on earth. I believe that we are all best equipped to serve the person that we used to be, which is why I devoted my life, personally and professionally, to doing exactly that. For me, it all started in July of 2013 when I had some issues with urinary retention and incontinence one evening. I reluctantly asked Shelby, my girlfriend of six months, six months to get me to the hospital as my heart rate began to rapidly rise. She was 22 years old and I was 23 at the time. A CT scan for possible kidney stones to reveal that my heart was dangerously enlarged and that I should see a cardiologist as soon as possible. That was just the beginning of a long road of doctor visits and inconclusive scans and biopsies. After 12 long months and 49 pounds down, I finally went to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota with hopes of getting a definitive diagnosis and treatment plan to potentially save my life. After going a second bone marrow biopsy for the, within that year and a full body plasma transfusion, and a biopsy near my heart and lungs, I was eventually diagnosed with IgG4 related disease and organic heart disease. My doctors told me that I was battling a rare autoimmune disease that they referred to as a pseudo lymphoma due to a way that it attacked my lymphatic system and mimicked many of the side effects and symptoms of lymphoma. I immediately began treatment with rituxan and high dose prednisone for multiple different frequencies over the following years. I first sat in this room as a guest from my childhood friend who was diagnosed with leukemia when we were in middle school and eventually ran for visionary in the year 2016. By the end of the night, I was bit with the bug and I knew that if my diagnosis were to ever change, that I would certainly run for visionary of the year and do whatever I could to share my story with hopes of creating awareness, raising funds, and inspiring others. After receiving results from a PET scan at the end of 2020 that showed signs of potential cancerous activity throughout my entire lymphatic system and several organs, on February 17, 2021, it had become official that my previously existing autoimmune disease had mutated into a full blown cancer. I was diagnosed with stage 3 through 4 no marginal zone lymphoma, not Hodgkin's lymphoma. I will go on to beat that diagnosis after eight months of chemotherapy, but had a hard time celebrating. I intuitively felt like my fight wasn't quite over yet. Exactly one year later, in October of 2022, the heavy night sweats returned. My lymph nodes and my pelvis were growing at an alarming rate, and I was extremely fatigued and scared. I knew that my cancer had returned. And after a couple months of back and forth trips to Jewish Hospital and my oncologist's office at OHC in Kenwood, I finally received a diagnosis of stage four and diffuse large B cell with liver metastasis on December 19th, 2022. I began chemotherapy on December 29th while inpatient and I'm set to finish my final treatment next Wednesday, May 24th. <laughs> Throughout my entire health journey with autoimmune disease and two cancer diagnoses, LLS has been there to support both me and my family directly and indirectly through it all. Love you. Uh, let's see here. Um, Love education, financial assistance, and funding of life saving drugs like Rituxan, which I've been receiving since 2014. They pr provided countless resources and even fostering connection with other young adults currently living with cancer in the region so that no one has to feel like they're fighting alone. It's a feeling I can identify all too much with for certain times in my own journey. Since my first cancer diagnosis in 2021, I immediately began looking for opportunities and ways to get involved as a volunteer with LOS. 
Since then, I've been involved with LLS fundraising initiatives such as the Big Climb and Visionaries of the Year. I've done an in-depth interview with LLS sharing my story and I've also been featured in the commercial and the face and voice of LLS's 2022 Giving Tuesday campaign. I became a Young Adult Committee member in the Ohio River Valley region for LLS as representation for young adults of color in my community is extremely important to me. And as of this day, I've officially joined LLS staff as the Campaign Development Manager for Visionaries of the Year here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Before I go this evening, I want to genuinely thank everyone here from the bottom of my heart for being here this evening and dedicating your precious time, energy, resources, and funds to enable LLS to continue leading the way in the fight against blood cancer by investing in life-saving research, advocacy, and education and support for patients and their families, all of which are tremendously impactful components to battling cancer. Quite honestly, I probably wouldn't be standing here tonight if it weren't for LLS and some of the groundbreaking advances that they've helped make in the world of cancer. You all have helped make that possible, and I want to know, I want you to know that every dollar donated to LLS is making a monumental difference in the lives of patients and their families. I'm living proof. Thank you all for allowing me to be your mission impact speaker for the evening, and I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. Hey y'all, it is the next day and I am leaving the work assignment that I had today. Bye! Um, where's my house at this way? <laughs> so we had like a whole family fun day. It was just like where I worked, my company... We had different booths on the inside, trying to get the community to know, like, we're here, trying to let them know, like, if you don't have a primary care doctor, come see us, you know what I'm saying? Um, we also had, like, face painting, there was a DJ, it was a food truck, it was all types of stuff. So, it was a beautiful event, I'm ready to go now. But, I gotta know something. Like, can you tell that this is a weave? Be, the reason I'm asking y'all right now it's in a ponytail okay is it like a weave ponytail like you'd be like okay yeah she got that ponytail in it's not her hair I'm asking y'all because one of my co-workers friends stopped by and was like hey ain't that one of your work friends why she got that yakky in her hair what like that when she told me that I was crushed because I thought the blend went crazy. Yaki. And then to call it Yaki, baby, this is not Yaki. I will do a Remy and a heartbeat, but this ain't even that. This is Brazilian. Zam. Like, did it look that? Because my hair is already long. I was just like, oh, does it look bumpy? It don't look bumpy to me. I don't know. I need to get over it. <laughs> I need to get over it. But yeah, we are headed home today. I don't know what the plan is. I really don't. My one friend, she might have a game night. Her parents are in from out of town. She was there with me last night, my girl Shelby. Her parents were there last night to support Nick in this event. He just got hired on um, at LLS, which is the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So that was nice. Um, and he like did a speech that I showed you guys. It was just great. It was all just great. So very excited to be able to partake in that. But they are going to do a game night. So not sure if I'm going to be able to go. Uh, we'll have to see because the weather is just so nice. But I have so much to do. I have so much to do. So I got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Such a beautiful day. Um, Demario's mom is coming. Demario's getting surgery next week, guys. He's having shoulder surgery. Keep him in your thoughts, prayers, positive vibes, all of that goodness. All of that good stuff, that good juju. And so, we got to clean the house. One, because we're having company. And two, just because we need to clean the house. You know what I'm saying? So, I had to clean the guest bedroom out. I have coats and stuff just thrown from when it was cold. Now it's not. So I got that cleaned up. Um, and I need to clean the refrigerator. You know, I just kind of do like a thorough deep clean. I got to clean the 
refrigerator, the microwave. And then this is gonna sound really gross, but I have to tell you guys, we have something called drain flies. They came in, the people who help us with maintenance, they came in and we had like, we have a drain downstairs and the drain was clogged up by tree roots. So they came in, supposedly fixed it, but ever since they did that, we've been having something called drain flies. So I'm not sure if it's still not draining properly, but drain flies are disgusting, you guys. They can live in like really harsh environments and they'll just fly out, like the larvae will just fly out and you have these random small black things um, and they're like dumb. They just like kind of sit there and then you kill them. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I'm pissed. So we have to treat everything. Like, it's a mess, y'all. I'm not sure if you've ever had dream flies, but they are a mother. Like, what in the hell? The eight. Oh, sugar and spice. Oh, well, I guess they're remodeling. Okay. Yeah, they needed to make it bigger. If you're ever in Cincinnati, y'all need to eat at Sugar and Spice. It's a bomb restaurant. But I'm going to shut up, listen to some music, vibe out, and then hit y'all up a little later. Okay? Okay. Hey, y'all. It's been some time later. I've been cleaning. Um, not too crazy, to be honest. So, like, have I even been cleaning? Yes. I cleaned my room a little bit. Um change the sheets you know i'm out here on the hammock with the dogs i got my computer with me um just kind of enjoy enjoy the day it's a nice outside it's very nice i did my lashes thumbie in do you see do you see the lash um glue that i have now is like this adhesive i was worried because it's not my typical eye envy but smells the same and right now it's performing the same, so can't be mad. I um, I'm doing laundry, and so I'm gonna finish up those loads. Um, I need to put away the loads that I have. Yada 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 yada. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know. Y'all know. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I am outside in that AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the girls that I grew beside, all the niggas around me, right at it, right, gotta watch the time, cause it's fine, right, by. Right. I am outside in that AMG, Right outside, DT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Who am I? All the niggas around me, why do they die? Gotta watch the time, cause it's fine, right? Why? Two turn, baby girl, you know me. I just caught a shorty off a fan stop. Just the one on the hoodie, it's a great shop. Way that I've been living unconventional. I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know. Certain things have started getting tense off. Think we need to have a sun adventure. I could be a man, but maybe down the road. Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to chrome. Rather see my heart turn crystal. I can't even find a cow mission. Right now, I'm just stuck inside a crib on my own. Soon as I free up, I'm about to pop up on your phone Like I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, PT Two turn, baby girl, you know me Who am I? All the niggas around me, right at it, guy Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by Two turn, baby girl, you know me Yeah Heart still on javelin, baby Two turn, baby, yeah, you know me I was pulling up, but they knew me Sometimes I wish there was two of me Three of me when it was two of me I felt like I love you too much Good morning, guys. It is 
Sunday. Last night I did not pick you guys up. I like literally put you down so that you could charge and then that was it. But we just been cleaning the house, you know, chilling in between, you know, regular, regular people stuff. I do think I want to make some juices. So might do that. Right now I'm watching YouTube and I'm in the process of cooking breakfast. We are having pancakes, some strawberries. I separated them out because like they was getting rotten. I bought these before. I bought them a minute ago. So like I have to eat what's good today or it's a wrap. I was under the impression that, you know, they were going to get eaten while I was gone, but you know, I guess things change. I'm trying to decide should I cook on this griddle? The griddle is always trash. It's always trash. I actually hate the griddle. This stove came with the griddle, y'all, and it is literally the worst. So I'll be over here cooking. You guys, no news on my other camera yet so we're just studying it out i hope they do give me a new camera because my old camera i dropped a million and one times and this time i didn't even know they had like camera covers like silicone cases or whatever so i'm gonna buy that for sure for sure my hair i tried to like do some buns in it last night to sleep with but uh, i think i'm just end up flat ironing it because Oh my God, my house is so smoky. Oh my God. Did you guys ever make the mistake of... Hold on. Do you guys ever make the mistake of like doing things when you're supposed to do one thing? I have a slight case of attention something. I won't say affect, uh, I won't say ADD, but I got something, very much something. So I'm trying to like open these windows now so that we could air this thing out. Cause baby, it is smoky in my house. It is so smoky. Okay. So we're gonna have pancakes, eggs, bacon and fruit. Then I'm gonna make some fruit juice, not fruit juice. Just like juices, like vegetable juice, whatever. Um, one thing I want to do, oranges. I don't know how many more carrots. Oh, well. Oranges, ginger, and lemon, and pineapple shots. Oh, should I do that? No, just orange, ginger, lemon. And then I'm going to do kale, celery, cucumber, and pineapple. So Cause it's fly right glide Two turn baby girl you know me and you Yeah Heart still on javelin baby Two turn baby girl you know me I was pulling up but they knew me Sometimes I wish there was two of me or three of me when it was you and me I love you too much to change you You believe in angles more than angels Feel like I've been going through too much to explain to you But I'm still the same way I was when I came to you Everything I have, what I had to exchange for you Everything I've been through, I can't even complain to you Wish it stayed the same for you, sorry
bag and flip it and tumble it Straight out the lot, be on the cash And the car came with a blood in it Your mama got that, that she got ass That she gon' fuck up a bag Pull up to the spot, nigga too fast Drunk in the dump in the stash Get Italy, got too far I hope they deal me Draw the top, when it's cold But you feel the heat Be real with me, keep it one Just be real with me Eat it up like it's a feast They say the dope won't flee Fuckers and pill on me I saw my nigga to chill with me